All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we have in today another one of my vlog series. We're officially four and a half weeks out from the Olympia. Oh. Well, four and a half weeks from tomorrow. So yeah. pretty much four and a half weeks out from the Olympia. And today I want to also I'm gonna take you to my blood blood series, and as well, this will be a full day of eating at this stage. Me breaking down all my meals at the moment of what we happen and what's really going on with me. So uh, woke up early this morning. It's getting getting on to almost nine o'clock right now. But woke up early this morning, six o'clock. We got forty minutes of cardio done, faster cardio on the bike, um, on the treadmill, and then straight from there. I got 30 minutes of all out posing. Okay, hitting poses, holding it for lengths of time. I will do that for 30 minutes straight. And that hurts more than cardio. That takes up a lot more out of me than cardio. And that's just a sweat series. And then I come downstairs and I'm having my breakfast at the moment. Now, breakfast currently, this we have started having my breakfast, which is it's very complicated, it's a lot of food. <laughs> Just so you know, I am really enjoying it because it's a lot and I'm going to be very stuffed after this meal. What you see right here, those three eggs, that is my breakfast. Yeah, that's it. Three whole eggs and coffee, black coffee. That's all I'm having this week. So... So yeah, I'm exhausted, tired, but hey, what else is new? That's what prep is about. But everything else, it is what it is, man. And like I keep saying, you know, mentally, this has been the prep, best prep I've had today. You know, for me, I've always struggled in prep, not because of physically how hard it is, because physically I can deal with anything. You know, being hungry, being all that physically. Is you get used to it, it's not that big deal. But the mental part of it, the mental pressure, struggle, everything of, of it, that sort of tends to get to me in prep. But be it maybe just experience, because we've done this so many times now, and this is our third big show, it just seems to be a lot less stressful this time. I think I've sort of learned the pitfalls of what to avoid to have those kind of really bad struggling preps. And it's really helped going forward. So this prep so far has been really smooth. Uh, just feel really good, man. And I suppose what helps as well, seeing your pro see your progress happening quite smoothly. And there's no breakdown. And you know, you're progressing week by week and each week we're getting better. And everything is just kind of working like clockwork. I think that that sort of makes it makes it makes for easy prep, it makes you less stressful and it just makes you being able to just handle the simple shit about it. So that's why it's been like this prep so far, it's been really good. I think probably the only breakdowns I've had this prep, I've had two breakdowns this prep. Uh, one was last week. I think I even put out my vlog series last week. When I, yeah, it was on Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday. Last night I just I feel like absolute dog shit. I think I look like shit and everything else. But that was just a, that was just a, one of my breakdown days. I think I had another one earlier in the beginning. But so far it's just been two. Which is a lot better than having two each week. So two in an entire prep and it's very, very up ahead. And with just four and a half weeks to go, it's going to be a freaking good prep, especially the way we're looking at the, at the moment. Yeah. All right, guys. So breakfast, I told you it was a big one. Three eggs and black coffee. Got uh, salt and black pepper on there. Just a little bit of taste, but this is my breakfast. Bon appetit. Awesome. Oh, how's your night? Hmm? How's your night? How you been? How's your night? How's your mother? Hmm? 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 You had a good sleep? The way he's looking sleep? at his breakfast is almost no, like, like some sort of... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I mean, the food you have is so much more decent than what I'm having. I'm always, you want to swap? Absolutely huh? freshly you, baked this yeah, morning. Baked chicken. Chicken. Foods, and you have all that amount of... You have more than me. You know right now your food is actually more than mine. It tastes better than mine. looks better than mine too. Hmm? Hmm? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, you gonna eat? You gonna eat? No? 
Breakfast? No. Mm. Breakfast? No. No. Breakfast? No. Mm. All right. So I'm getting my second meal in today. Just getting my second meal ready for the day. And today's um, second meal is we got 250 grams sweet potatoes and. 200 grams of steak. As you know, with um, with our steak and food stuff, we always have it pre-cooked and ready to go. Steak is always kind of measured in already, and with sweet potatoes is uh, steamed it up. And I just basically where uh, we adjust it every week. I just basically put what my number is supposed to be. Up on there. Just made it. Oh, nice. Okay. My boy Anthony in the house. Anthony just showed up. We train legs this afternoon. So. And he's here for more support. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, me and Anthony are supposed to come up with a posing routine for the Olympia. Yeah. So something we got to find time to work on. Yeah, we did our Arnold routine. That was a killer. So we don't find time to come up with our uh, Olympia posing routine. Correction, a winning posing routine. <laughs> Open it on today. Today on Sunday. Today Sunday, Sunday as well. Yeah. yeah. We come up with the idea today. Uh, start practicing Sunday. And yeah, we're good. And that's my second meal today. Three grams sweet potatoes, two hundred grams steak. So, mid afternoon, second meal in, taking service out for a walk. Which is very unusual in our case. <laughs> this whole day is the same, man. I thought it's like repeat. You know, and that's that's it. You gotta have some kind of uh, constant consistency in your life, man. And this is how it works, especially in prep, man. Everything is timed to the, to literally time is on point. You know, where you have your first meal, second meal, daily walk, cardio, training session, everything is scheduled, you know, and that's me having that perfect schedule all day in and day out is exactly why you make progress. Not, not just kind of doing your day as you feel. It's more about keeping that discipline and that discipline in your schedule. Especially when you have a dog. Yeah, especially when you have a dog. And you know, I mean, it's the same thing if you have kids or anything else or you have a job. You gotta have a disciplined schedule and you have to follow that schedule day in and day out. And that's, that's how it works. So if my days are more or less all the same and that's exactly how I like them. It causes me so I can focus on what I need to do and nothing else, you know. I focus on following the schedule and trying to become the best I can be. So that's why, you know, consistency. So Anthony, how are you feeling about training legs with Samsung? Well, it's been a while. while. We haven't trained legs in a year or so. Time, Over a year. Over a year? Yeah, we haven't trained since I come back. Oh, so, boy. Shit. We haven't trained legs. Oh, this is going to oh. be an eye opener today. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be an eye opener for you today. <laughs> Especially if we did what we did last week. Yep. Yeah, oh man, we did giant set last week. And yeah. The thing is, I got to do the same thing this week. So. It's a shame I'm not going to be there <laughs> to watch this. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Yeah, I've been trying to do what you do. <laughs> Obviously, it's a different story doing it with you. But <laughs> it'll be a lot of fun. I mean, last week was oh my god. I oh no no. I was horrible, and then I just remembered what it was, and I was like. Oh, 
Oh, look forward to it, but <laughs> we'll, we'll dread. That was fun. Because I've been doing superset leg press with squats. Oh, yeah. I've been yeah, doing that. You've done that before in the past. Or is it normal, normal squats or holds? Yeah, squats? I've been doing normal squats. You, you do holds? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. So you're going to be recording that on the vlogging camera, right? I will try to record it. I'll be recording on the vlogging camera. I'll give you good microphones mm -hmm. so that we can I'll enjoy the struggle. Tabish, <laughs> come. Hey, you can be fine. I'm the one on low calories. Yeah. My energy level can only go so so much. Yep. So they say. Buddy, come this way. So, just having a pre gym meal, which is the next one. We got a cup and a half of rice and 180 grams of lean mints. So, I'm gonna get this down me and uh, we're gonna head off to the gym and go get our leg session done. So, yeah. Yeah. 
grams of minced beef, 250 okay. grams of rice. Mm, it's cooked or cooked? Cooked measure. Mm -hmm. How's the leg workout? Very hard. Very, very hard. <coughs> Did you survive? Just about. Just about, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
it was the end of nothing. We said the words to each other. We were just trying to <laughs> to survive, really. Just oh, trying really? to breathe. Wow. Oh, yeah, the one that we did. Yes, I did. Yes, you know. Did you see the video? I said, yes, I did. So, yes, I did. I have a good brain. What does he have to bring in order to win the Olympian this year? What do you need to see? I think it's going to come down to perfect posing as far as, you know, when you hit those shots. All right, guys, how's it going? So we're just about to do our, well, eight o'clock meal. So it's our last meal tonight. And uh, this one's a simple one. It's a meal before bed, it's eight o'clock. I still got time, but it's always gonna be our last meal right now. And this week, we're going up 200 grams of chicken breast. 250. Well, 250 grams of chicken breast, my bad. And... vegetables so I'm gonna stick that in the microwave and get it all warmed up and uh get chowing so yeah so what happened was whilst I was waiting just had a podcast with Dennis James what were you waiting Chris for? Well, we're waiting for my next meal <laughs> <laughs> just had a podcast with Dennis James Chris Camille and Milos and I was waiting for my next meal so I thought you know how since I was waiting for my next meal I might as well jump on a podcast like, you know, no biggie but you know <laughs> So I had a podcast with them guys, and it was really good. Yeah. Episode should be out on um, Sunday next week or Sunday this, this week. weekend. Yeah, this weekend. So it was a good episode, man. And uh, yeah, it was nice. It was nice to laugh, and we enjoyed that. Anthony's been around with me all day. He's been showing moral support. Well, he's about to head home because he's got to have his own his own meal. It's getting late now. And my boy, he's gonna head home back. Yeah, this is where we're at. So, boy, you tired? How's your day been? How's your day? Good. He's been eating so much cheese. <laughs> I know, man. He's, so he's, many he's been indulging, man. He's been having so much treats today. Right, guys. So, this is us. So I'm gonna have my last, but I'm gonna head off to bed. But guys, thank you guys for watching, following me through the meals I'm having through my day, and everything else. Being four and a half weeks out from the Olympia, obviously things are quite strict and quite in the harsher point of everything, but we know we're bringing our best to this Olympia and that's guaranteed. So guys, you always thank you for supporting me through this whole journey and supporting my family through this journey and being part of it and watching. But my family. My family. <laughs> my familia. <laughs> my family, the family. Yeah? Thank you for supporting <laughs> us. And um, yeah, like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Can I just ask, um, you saying that you last meal before you had up to bed, you go to bed at 8 o'clock? No, I go to bed like 11 o'clock. I go to bed starving, just like I always do. Okay. And then middle of the night, I'm waking up like freaking, freaking starving and... And what do you still, do then? I freaking drink water and go back to sleep <laughs> because I ain't no food in the house. I yeah, you sleep soundly. Okay. I freaking, I gotta just drink water and go back to sleep and try to work my way to sleep when my stomach is making different noises. Do you actually go to water? What else can I possibly do? There's literally <laughs> nothing in this house. So it's like, okay, fuck it. I just, you wake up and you, I stand there a minute, I play with my phone for like a few minutes. I'm like, okay, just, you know, trying to pass the time. And then I do some water, make you feel a bit bloated, and I go to sleep. There's oats. I'm not going to have oats in the middle of the night. You shouldn't have oats. Exactly, I shouldn't have oats in the middle of the night. So it's not exactly, even the thought of coming downstairs to prepare oats sounds rubbish. If I'm going to come in and snack or something, I want to snack on something that's good. There ain't nothing good here, so. I just go back to go back to bed. But then it makes for a good cardio in the morning because cardio feels a lot harder and I feel like you burn through more fat because you have absolutely nothing in your stomach by that point. So it makes it more efficient in terms of fat loss. But guys, thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you next one.